Hi, it's Bubble Chupi. I bet most of my subscribers are also following me on Instagram. And you probably noticed that I love wearing wigs a lot. But why? Number one, they make me feel better about myself. Two, I can change my hairstyle whenever I want to. Three, I can hide my own hair when I'm just lazy or my hair is really greasy. But how the heck do I have so many wigs? I'm just gonna start off by saying that I collected wigs for a few years now. I bought my first wig in October or November of 2014 and that wig looks like this. Actually, many of my newer wigs are sponsored that I got for free from different companies. So it's not like I'm rich and could just spend $100 on a wig like that. I wish I was though, but that's why I'm so thankful that I got the opportunity to get so many wigs for free. I may or may not have an unhealthy obsession with wigs. I think that I have 24 right now and counting because I think I'm gonna get even more wigs off this video, so yeah. All of my wigs are synthetic hair, but I would like to have a human hair wig sometime just to feel the difference between the two, but they're obviously a lot more expensive. I've organized all of my wigs so that I'm gonna show you from the lightest colors to the darkest color. This is going to be a lot. I'm also gonna put links to most of the wigs in the description so we can check out that. This is my lightest wig and I got it from a friend of mine actually. I haven't taken any photos in it yet so I don't really know how to style it. I don't really know if I suit this kind of platinum blonde, almost white hair. I feel so much like Sia when I'm wearing this wig, like I could be in one of her music videos. I feel like it's really obvious that this is a wig, but I don't know. The length is pretty cute. It's hard to explain the quality of it. Like it's not really soft, but it's not too bad and at least it's not shiny. This is a cosplay wig and it's from when I cosplayed Emilia from Roy Zero. I just loved cosplaying Emilia and I put so much work into sewing the clothes by myself. But this wig is horrible. It's so long, I think it's 100 centimeters. I was brushing it for at least 5 minutes and it still looks like I could just cut it off everything. It's a mess. I really don't like long wigs like this. They get so easily tangled and this is like, I just can't save it anymore. I think I bought this wig from eBay for like 20 euros. So, I mean, this is what I got. I don't know if I would recommend this wig, but the problem is that Amelia in the anime has super long hair. So if you want to cosplay her, then I don't know, use this wig once and it's ruined. That's what I did. The wig also came with a braided hair accessory here, but unfortunately, <laughs> I broke it. This wig I bought at an anime convention here in Finland, and if I'm not mistaken, I think I got it for only three or five euros. So, really a bargain. Look for wigs at anime conventions, but you gotta be fast because the best ones will go quickly. I was a bit skeptical because it was so cheap and unfortunately I've come to realize that the quality has gotten worse all the time. It used to be better quality but if I don't wear this wig in braids I have to brush it a lot when wearing it. The hair definitely gets tangled easy and it's not really the softest either. But I still really really like this wig. It used to be one of my favorite wigs. This is my newest wig and I got it sponsored from Wig is Fashion. It's a really cute like strawberry blonde color and I don't know if it really shows up in the camera but the ends here are actually a bit pink. So that's the main reason why I got it. And I also got this wig because I kind of want to replace this blonde wig with the previous one that I showed you because that one is so used and this one is new and fresh. It's curly and the texture is on point. It's really soft. I feel like 
a princess when wearing it. This is another cosplay wig that is also one meter long. I bought this one from wigsupplier.com and I used this wig when I cosplayed Umaru from Himoto Umaru-chan in 2016. As well as with the Emilia wig, this one is also incredibly long and gets tangled everywhere so that's why I have it in braids. I don't know how to style the fringe. I think that I wore it with this. This is one of my two grey wigs and I bought this one from eBay. I can really tell by the quality of this that this is a cheap eBay wig. I think it was 10 or 15 euros. So it's not the best. I wouldn't recommend. You can't really tell unless you're up close but it's... It's not that good quality. Maybe I've ruined this wig, I don't know, but I customized it a little bit. First I cut off a few centimeters and um, then I curled it because I thought it would look better like that. And I also added a bit of black or darker roots here. Uh, I don't know about that, it's really not the best wig that I own, but... I mean, the color is pretty. This gray one I got from Everyday Wigs and I love it a lot. This is a lace front wig and they're a bit more expensive, so you would expect the quality to be good and and it is really good. It's soft and this length is really cute as well. Uh, that's why I chose it because I wanted more short wigs. This wig is from an online shop called Shy Lolita and I got it for free as well. The color is kind of difficult to explain because it tends to look different on camera than it is in real life and it's depending on the lights as well, but I would say it's kind of a light brown, grey, pinkish something and then it has red at the bottoms. I really like this wig mainly because of the bangs and this part here, I love when wigs have this little middle part so it almost looks like real or it looks a little bit more realistic and the bangs also look really really cute. It does get tangled pretty easily but sometimes I just wear it in swim tails. This is one of my favorite wigs and probably one of the wigs that I've been wearing the most. It's from Trendy Wigs and this one is called Lala. Yes, I got this wig sponsored as well. You've probably seen me wearing this one a lot on Instagram as well. I love everything about this wig. It's a beautiful peachy color. I kind of regret that I straightened it because when I got it, it used to be a little bit more wavy. This orange wig is from Spree Picky. What's great about short wigs is that they pretty much never get tangled because they're so short. That's one reason why I love short wigs, but I also love long wigs, so... I feel like short wigs like this one make you look so cute and this one is also so fluffy. I just love this one a lot and it was my first short wig or my first uh, like bob wig. Is this called a bob? I don't know, a short bob, a long bob, something. And ever since that, I knew that I wanted more short wigs because I don't want to cut my own hair this short, but I like this length a lot. I also got to mention that the hairline is amazing and looks pretty realistic. This is one of my pink wigs. I bought this one from eBay for really cheap and I was so disappointed when it arrived. I mean, the color is just perfect. It's a perfect pastel pink, but it looked so thin. I just, I was so sad. I realized that I could curl it, so maybe it will look a little bit better. And I mean, yeah, it worked, but still pretty thin. I usually wear this wig in braids because I don't know, I feel like this wig in particular only looks good in braids. And as you can see here, there's some kind of dark roots thing going on and I did that myself. I used black eyeshadow and brown eyeshadow. This wig is a life savior. I got this one from Univix to replace the one that I showed you before. This wig is similar to the previous one except this one is so much better. The quality is so much better, it's soft. It was originally a lace front wig, well it still is a lace front wig, but I cut the bangs myself. I think the bangs turned out really nice. This wig I got from the same friend as I got the short white one. This wig gives me some kind of ethereal feel 
vibes because of how fluffy it is. I did a photo shoot for my Instagram in this wig and I loved wearing this wig so much but it's not really the kind of wig that I would wear on a daily basis but mostly for like photo shoots I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. This is a purple pinkish wig that I got for free from move.com with three O's I think. The color looks so different depending on what light you're in. Sometimes it looks almost peach, orange, but in real life I would say it's a mix of pink and purple. It's a really pretty wig, it's just sad that it's a bit thin, but I think the quality is still pretty okay. I love this wig so so much. It gives me some kind of grunge-ish vibes. I don't know. I think it's because of the smoky pinkish color that's going on. I really like that. Also this wig is from Eva Hair. It's so bouncy and I love the curls. I can honestly say that I love everything about this wig. This is the first wig that I ever bought. I actually don't remember where I bought this wig, but it didn't look like this when I got it like four years ago because I cut it this length. Um, I don't know if I regret it or if it's cute length, but it used to look like this. Something. Look what I have. Wow, it's so messy. Ooh. And we have... So, if you want to have a long wig, here you have a long wig. These hair clips are actually really great if you want to have both a short wig and a long wig, but... I don't know what to do with this wig anymore because I, I don't really use it. Perhaps I could sell it on Depop or something if anyone would be interested in buying it. This lilac wig is from Donna Love Hair and it's the first wig I ever got sponsored. I remember being so excited when I got to pick a wig for free because they were kind of expensive too. It is a lace front wig but I cut the bangs myself because I wasn't used to lace front wigs and I thought they would look weird on me so I felt more comfortable with bands. The color is so pretty and the texture is good, but I don't really know if this color suits my skin tone. This is the perfect pastel blue wig and it's so pretty with the pink at the ends too. This wig is from Yuvumi and I showed it in my Yuvumi haul that I did last year. The hair is super soft and it doesn't tangle at all. And I love this part here as I've said before. This is another blue wig but this one's a bit darker and it has dark roots. This wig is from Eva Hair. I've been wearing this wig out a few times and I remember one time I heard the children say something like, look! She has blue hair! That was so cute. Anyway, this wig is pretty good quality, I'd say. I totally love this smoky purple wig. And the color is exactly what I wanted. This wig is from Trendy Wigs, by the way. It's a really nice, subtle shade of purple. Like, it almost feels kind of natural. It's not natural, but it's such a nice color and not so much in your face, if you know what I mean. It's hard to explain, but if you want a smoky purple wig, buy this one. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> Now's the time for one of my favorite wigs that I own, and probably the one that I've been wearing out the most too, because this wig has saved me from so many bad hair days. If I had to choose just one wig from all of these 24, it would be this one. So now you know how much I love this wig. And thank you so, so much to you, me for sponsoring me this wig. It's been a lifesaver. On top of everything, it's also the most realistic wig I own. It has like zero unnatural shine to it. So it looks really, really natural. People have thought this was my real hair. That's how realistic this wig looks. This is a cosplay wig that I bought from eBay. I used it when I cosplayed Sakura from one of my favorite animes, Cardcaptor Sakura. Childhood memories. This is cute. The quality is really good for a cosplay wig, but I think I wouldn't wear it out of cosplay. Now comes my second last wig, this dark brown one. I found this wig on YesStyle and it had good reviews, so I wanted to try it out too, and they were right. It's really good. And this is also one of those wigs that look pretty natural, at least here. And I love the bangs. 
The color is pretty identical to my real hair color. I almost look like my mom in this wig, so that's a thing. I don't want to go back to dark brown hair yet, but I love wearing this wig if I want to look a bit more natural. Or I can prank people that I've dyed my hair. <laughs> This is a black wig that I got from Eva Hair. I wanted this wig because I wanted to know how it would look like in black hair. And here it is. I uh, feel slightly uncomfortable in this wig or in black hair in general. I don't know. I look kind of weird in this wig. This video took so long to film and now I just want to rest my head from all of these wigs. If the audio of this video sounded horrible, I'm so sorry. It's so sad when you don't have equipment that's good enough and you don't want to upload a video that's half-assed, but you guys keep asking for videos anyway and I mean I want to make videos but I need better equipment and oh, it's so stressful but hopefully soon I'll get a better microphone again. I bought a pink microphone just because it was pink and it sucks honestly. I'm so disappointed. By the way, let me know which one of these wigs are your favorites and I guess I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!